In this video, we'll make a layout document of this model that I downloaded from the SketchUp warehouse. First, let's prepare it before sending it to layout. I'm going to change its style to construction documentation because I don't want the sky and ground showing up. And then I'm going to turn off the axes because I don't need them either. Next, I'll make some scenes. That's my first scene. And then I'll make different views for some more scenes. I'll make this one orthographic. then save and send to layout. It's best to send it to layout through this link because that creates a link between the model and the layout document. So if I need to change the model later, I can easily update the layout document. Now I need to choose a template. If I made one previously and saved it, it would be here but I want a new template with a title block. And I'll choose this one. As you can see, I have a viewport on this title block. Hold the shift key down and drag to resize it proportionately. And then move it into place. With the viewport highlighted, click Copy and Paste. And do this a couple more times. All right, now I'm going to right click, choose scenes, and make that scene one. I'll make this scene two, this scene three, and this scene four. Then I'll go back and scale them all. I'm going to choose the quarter inch scale. And if it's too large for the viewport, I can always stretch the viewport bigger. I can double click in here and orbit around if I want. But I'm going to now change the scale on all of them. And I'll resize the viewports as big as I need them to be. Now I'll put some ID labels under them and we'll find them in the scrapbooks tray. You can see I've got all kinds of items that I can bring into the drawing. I'm going to bring in some contemporary ID labels. And I can click on any of these to type what I need. I 
I can also double click on any of the text fields in the title block and change them to what I need. To add dimensions, I'll click on the dimension tool and then click on the length to dimension. If I don't want that unit, I can highlight it and change it. That doesn't change all future dimensions though, so what I would need to do is highlight dimensions and then just change it again. And now all my dimensions should be in the new unit. I'm going to go back to the SketchUp model and I'm going to make some changes to it. I'm going to paint the bottom panels a different color. Save it. Go back to Layout. Go to File. Document Setup. References, click on the greenhouse, update. And you can see the whole drawing is now updated. Finally, I'll go to File, Export, and I can export as a PDF or a DWG DXF. If I want to save this as a template, I'll click here and then click OK. And that's an overview of how to use layout.